Hi YouTube! I am gonna do the Venus Love Vibe reading by sign. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I switch it up all the time. Must be the Gemini in me. But I kind of felt like I had the time. I know this is gonna take longer than the um, just the pick a card. But I had time. And also, um, I'm recording it a little different on my camera because I want to keep an eye on it and um, make sure that's recording also a little thing about I was cleaning my desk and for some reason it was almost going to this thing was almost gonna fall it was a little tiny tarot card it's so crazy cuz it's the tower so I just wanted to share that I feel like it was just um meant for me to see it because it was somewhere where it would have fell easily and I could have just missed it but I thought it was so strange and the eclipse is coming up so that really gave me a sense this weird vibe regarding the um, eclipse coming up there's some heavy heavy energy going on right now because of the eclipse the retrogrades anyways let's get started this is for sun moon and venus it's not a cross watcher like i usually do those will be coming up soon sorry about my dog okay let's get started um this is gonna take longer because i'm gonna do in the second part for the rest of the signs this is just water and fire so let's get started and we'll see what we get what kind of messages we get here so we'll start you can just jump over to the next to your sign I mean okay Scorpio let's see what we have for Scorpio here okay Ooh, not a good start. Scorpio always gives me this. This I think the last cross watchroom video was like that as well. Grief and sadness. Hmm, an ending of some sort. It's number ten. We have secrets. Ooh, free yourself. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. This was some deep love. So let's start um, with grief and sadness. This could be a morning of an end. The morning of an ending. A loss of a partnership. Um, mourning over it. It could be. Um, it kind of does look like just it was lost here it could be changes there's some kind of em like emotional changes or just transformations happening it's strange because it is Scorpio which means Scorpio you're always um, when you love you love deep so it was a very deep soulmate connection between you two but there was a lot of hidden secrets and I feel like maybe you must have found out maybe um you just felt it but now you you're being asked to think about the impossible okay think about um what could happen if you free yourself from these thoughts this lack of um this thoughts these thoughts of lack because i feel like maybe you're you're thinking very low right now or this could be your person if that this is not you somebody is trying to free themselves from thinking negative or just trying to control a situation or trying to control their own life or trying to get control of their own life their own emotions here so i feel like there's still a lot of love but there was some secrets that were found out anticipation wow So uh, I feel like I'm not going to go by the title here. I'm going by the energy. I feel like there was just one thing after another for some reason. Because whenever I see the waves, the ripple of the waves, it's like one thing had to happen for the other thing to happen. Like that's for some of you. For others of you, I feel like it's more of a... 
is the tip of the iceberg, the cherry on top. Like you must have found out something that just kind of you felt it already and something just I don't know what happened but out of nowhere it just you just lost it or you found out something and just lost it or something like that healing so old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting so maybe here something happened because of old wounds or maybe it's just time for healing okay time for change let's clarify for Scorpio and their person Okay, why? What's the secret spirit? Actually, give me one for grief and sadness. Okay, hang on. Wow, the tower fell. Which is you. Maybe you're still trying to hang on to something, but the universe had to intervene. Give me more on grief and sadness. Okay, so um, Five of Swords wants to come out. Grief and sadness. Okay, both of you ended up ended up alone someone here is lost in their thoughts and look at how similar these two are they're both surrounded by something here blocked i feel like both of you are feeling this way in your thoughts both of you are thinking about things here i feel like you're the one that is healing now turning your back on this person this person is reflecting on everything that's happened already or maybe this is both you but i feel like it's your person and you and they're thinking back and reflecting on things someone here is healing i feel like you you are healing and thinking more about yourself focused on your money on your body mind and soul um give me more on these secrets something came out and it's interesting because because the eclipse does that things come out um as well we have so something came out that that's why they were taking a long time to uh, to um commit to you or maybe now that something came out, you're more committed to your own stability, your own security on your own. Give me more on the secrets. Yeah, something was hidden here. Everything's not what it seemed. And you kind of just got tired of it and let it go. Interesting. This person was inconsistent. There was a lot of cards that came out. That you thought there were um, wish fulfillment here now you're really thinking about yourself you've ended a cycle and started you know being the emperor the empress here um but there's a lot of healing that needs to happen between you two before coming in i feel like both of you are still feeling this energy here because we have this card look deep within your heart and and you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean so this is a very deep love very i mean it was intense love and i feel like it just left you finding your um leveling up wanting to level up wanting to just let go and focus on you you kind of lost yourself in this um connection as well could be because this person was just not in was consi inconsistent and wasn't really too serious about you they only thought about themselves kind of thing um they took forever to really commit to you and it, it kind of seems like you want to get out of this already and start you know dating around that's for some of you but if i feel like healing is a very strong message here that you still need to finish healing become 
who you're meant to like be leveling up really taking care of you your body mind and soul here so that is a message there for you okay so um bottom of the deck we have five of cups a lot of disappointment here so i have virgo strong virgo taurus libra aquarius earth signs cancer pisces sagittarius fire signs air and earth signs okay so that is what i have so all signs but i just named a few of the major ones okay so somebody is stuck in their thoughts here okay so i hope that resonates let's move forward pisces let's see what we have for pisces here okay pisces oh we have surrender so surrender is um feeling overwhelmed with feelings emotions um weighed down you know you're drowning in emotions or someone's drowning in emotions here um somebody's raising the flag the flag this is a um, what is it called the um, surrendering um like the white flag of um oh what is it called the universal sign for surrendering you know um it is a surrender card so somebody is trying to release control or just letting go of something something that's out of your control um out of your hands yeah and you're just like releasing everything maybe you're releasing emotions you're purging or maybe you're releasing your um expectations of when it should happen or or w the expectations of outcomes between you and your person here and when it should happen we have unsaid words so there's unsaid words between you two somebody here probably even wants to come and um surrender to like a how do i say it surrender p uh, like a peace offering or something like that because there's a lot of unsaid words we have pay attention to the red flags interesting this person probably gave you a lot of red flags and you were trying to ignore them or um interesting because we have a flag here and a flag there Hmm. we'll look more into it we have you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed Ooh, i love that because a lot of things are happening right now there's probably you don't even know why things are happening this way but there's it's like a hidden um a blessing in disguise here okay so we have love potential so there's potential here in this connection or maybe that's what you thought but this does not cons this does not really sit well with me hmm yeah we'll look more into it stability this relationship can stand the test of time yeah so you guys are going through a test of time here um because somebody i feel like maybe somebody needs to surrender here surrender their need for controlling situations or controlling their emotions or something about control here there is potential i feel like it's a very strong soulmate connection or there was a lot of love here there is a lot of love and there's potential of it growing and growing stronger mm -hmm. let's see what are these unsaid words spirit guides or give me one for surrender spirit guides why is surrender here i was just checking if it's still recording <laughs>
why surrender here okay yeah there was drama here there was drama there was harsh words said but through these harsh words i feel like a lot of it was not meant it didn't it didn't it wasn't uh, meant to be said you know like maybe there was a harsh argument between you two and somebody didn't mean what they said so I feel like this is kind of like a peace offering like a Colleen um, truce or something like that that's what I'm feeling and maybe they want to clear the air with these unsaid words give me more of this unsaid word spirit guides I feel like you gave a lot to this situation. Again, a lot of unsaid feelings. It could be feelings here. Somebody was emotionally, um, emotionally immature here, I feel. And you gave a lot to this person. It feels like you really withdrew. You took back your power, your, your energy from this person. And you kind of lost yourself in this connection because this person would not pay attention to you sometimes. Or maybe just um, was too focused on their own things. Or maybe they were just emotionally immature. Or a little immature. I mean a lot immature. Yeah, because we have I already switched it. At the bottom of the deck we had the King of Swords, which is my in this deck. I feel like it's cutting off immaturity. Immature people. Okay, give me more on these signs. I'm only going to clarify some, not all. Give me more of these. Pay attention to the red flags. Okay, so this person was holding back on something. They wanted to keep their options open, possibly. Um, but they only gave you just... A l like breadcrumbs just a little enough they give you enough for you to stay there but they still were going they were holding back um, and I don't know if they wanted their options open let's see yeah they were a little immature they chose the cup of being out and about, still having their options open. They thought they were, you know, still young, too young for a relationship, something serious here. Mm-hmm. What does this person really feel? So if you took back your... <laughs> This person was um, just, they want to come back in. They feel anxiety right now. Um, they want to come back in. They want to surrender to this and really come and say what they feel or come in here. But they're a little confused right now of what they feel. Mm -hmm. They keep thinking a lot about it. Okay, so this person really doesn't know what they want. They feel confused. They don't know what what is it that they want right now. Mm -mm. So things are really shifting here. I feel like there is some change happening. Even within you, it's like you stopped giving to the situation because of you were just forced. You had no choice but to walk away. You know, you were just done with this. And this person wants to like surrender to you come to you with a peace offering or something like that that's what i'm getting it's very specific so check your um moon or rising for more um messages or or if it doesn't resonate here okay so that is what i have for pisces we have earth taurus virgo um, Sagittarius, air signs, water signs, earth, um, more earth, fire, Pisces, Cancer, I'm just naming a few, but I have all signs there. Okay, so let's move forward with Cancer. Okay, Cancer, let's see what we have here. So 
so cancer we have drama hmm there is drama there was drama on the um for pisces too interesting we have drama um drama brings uh because of all this red it could be red flags um somebody wearing a mask here playing a part yeah somebody is giving you a different side of them or maybe there was just drama that came came to light or something happened here mm -hmm. let's see what we have we have confessions ooh confessions confession there's some change happening here too confession let's see we'll look more into that confession card we have flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others maybe this person is um acting like they don't have feelings it's an act it's a mask and they have a f confession they want you to be to or maybe they want to extend their light heart energy to you we have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform see i said there was um change because i added the three and the two it's five so maybe there's change here there was probably um drama both of you were criticizing each other or blaming each other or something like that um, but both of you need to learn how to accept each other and um, think of each other with love okay change that energy I wonder what this confession card is we have trials of love lesson see it's a lesson oh my god that's what I just said I feel like both of you need to learn how to love and accept each other instead of criticizing or blaming one another i feel like it's a blame game of some sort maybe someone's just acting like they don't have feelings for you or something maybe it's hard for them to even that's what's coming to mind um someone here that's what's coming to me there's someone here that's listening to this reading that because they're not really telling you how they feel they're creating more of this drama that's what I'm feeling here true love this love is emotionally emotional physical and unconditional ooh unconditional be careful with unconditional okay unconditional love is dangerous well for me because <laughs> you're supposed to love yourself uh, first okay so let's see what we have here reason why that's i say that is like you have to love yourself unconditionally first because how can you take care of someone else or love someone else if you don't love yourself first okay it's like that um airplane um emergency thing um, putting a mask on interesting how that came up we have a mask here um, you put your mask on first before you put your neighbor's mask or help them with their mask okay that's what I'm getting here give me more on drama what was this drama about somebody feeling rejected somebody not give, giving enough to this connection somebody with their foolish behavior mm -hmm. this is what's causing the drama things will be turning around though some i feel like someone some of you are waiting for things to turn around like you guys still have hope that things will be turning around some of you just just want this person to have an equal give and take to see things you on your perspective to not make you feel uh, rejected or not wanted here to also give you attention i feel like this person might be giving others attention or other people come be before you or something like that 
what is this confessions card that I really want to get to? <laughs> what is this confessions? Ooh, clarity. See, somebody giving you clarity. I saw it, so I'm going to get it. Wow. Okay, Cancer. We have the Empress, which is Venus. Venus energy. Venus is going to probably reward you here because we have a reward coming. We have clarity. Maybe right now you're healing from all this. You're wanting to start all over. You're wanting to let go. Someone's not letting go though. Someone's not letting go because you're leveling up here. You're going to get a reward. You're you're going to get a new beginning here. Whatever it was what happened between you two, someone's healing from it, someone's reflecting from it, and I feel like this person wants to come back because they see you as the empress. They see you as the emperor whatever, but I feel like it's more Venus is giving you a reward. This is just a lesson that both of you have, have to overcome and learn from it because we have trials of love here. They want you to be, when they do come and take a leap of faith forward towards you and things turn around, they want you to be uh, more lighthearted towards them. Okay, they don't want you to um, be, how do I say? They don't want you to be mad at them or resentful or bitter. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, give me one more for this flirt. We all know what it is, but I'm just going to do it. Yeah, see, they don't know how to come towards you, so when they finally do, they just want you to um, not be so resentful. I feel like this person still does not know what to do with this, um, how to approach you. If they should just flirt their s themselves way, <laughs> way in or not. Because they're looking at this cup like, what, how should I do this? How do I just, you know, they don't know what to do with it. Okay. So that's what I have here. Somebody wants to clear the air, bottom of the deck. We have water, air, Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio, um, Aries, Pisces, could be Gemini, Sagittarius. I have earth signs. Yep, that is what I have. I hope that felt like it resonated. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't yet, okay? Okay, let's see. Well, let's go with Sagittarius now. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Right? Yeah. We have separation. Ooh, interesting. So, there was an ending of some sort, separation of a relationship. Ooh. Hmm. I feel like there is also a an age gap for some of you, not all of you, of course. It's general. Just take what resonates. Um But I feel like both of you do not know because they're they're all it's only their shadows here. I feel like both of you do not know what this is causing you, what both of you are feeling. Um, I feel like both of you are feeling the same way. It kind of, both of you are feeling down about this. Okay. But the sun is here. The sun is peaking. So it could be a temporary thing. Um, because the sun always comes out. I feel like in this pile, I, th uh, I reviewed the book, but I think the book says it different. It's something right now I feel it like the sun is coming out okay that's how I connect with this one yeah like 
there's movement forward of some sort we have ghosted so somebody ghosted the other what is going on what happened hmm somebody ghosted the other person making the effort so oh okay i kind of get a vibe that somebody wants to ghost the other well ghosted the other and wants wants the other person to make the effort or maybe and this is a very strong soulmate connection as well um but i'm getting that vibe of some weird romance cupid arrow strikes so somebody is going to be making the effort here or maybe you just met this person and they ghosted you right away or um, you're you're wanting them to show you what they really feel so they you want them to come to you or there's someone that's gonna make the effort here there's romance here so that's a good sign we have plenty of fish so maybe somebody ghosted someone because there was someone else in the picture or maybe they wanted to keep their um their options open they wanted to go see what is out there huh interesting so there's romance here we're clarifying so we'll clarify we have leap of faith it's safe to make the move you're you're considering so i feel like someone here it could be you you're considering to make the effort and maybe call them up text them whatever message them because you're seeing that or this could be your person they're seeing that you're out there maybe even maybe even um, keeping your options open or being op open to someone else or maybe they think this about you or you're thinking this about them for some of you, both of you are thinking the same thing. Whoever got ghosted, you're thinking that they're out there looking elsewhere or they have someone else. Hmm. And for some of you, it's like what I'm think what I'm feeling here is that you want them to make the effort. So you ghosted them or you just stopped putting effort in so they can make the effort and you're thinking that they're out there trying to and they're the ones thinking that you're out there seeking elsewhere okay so someone here is considering to make the effort though sorry if i confused you there's two storylines just take what resonates okay Give me more on this separation. Yeah. You cut this person off. If you're an air sign, it doesn't even matter because someone here had to cut the other person off because remember there was immaturity here. Too much immaturity. And things are going to turn around and it's going to make somebody want to make the effort here. Because they probably think that you're out there um, seeking elsewhere. Because you ghosted them. Or it could be vice versa. Um, sorry. That's moved. They weren't giving enough. Now I feel like they're willing to open up. Give me more on a ghosted. Oh, that one flew out. So if they ghosted you, they want to come and make things right. They want to apologize. They want to show you. I feel like someone that... The person that ghosted, they want to make things right. They want to apologize. They want to come and give you clarity. Um, I feel like the ball is in their court and they know that. But they don't know how to express themselves either. I feel like this person was a little too selfish. They maybe wanted you to make the effort as well. Give me more on make the effort. Maybe they wanted you to chase. I feel like this person was a little selfish though. So. 
Yeah, and you might have leveled up and that's when they want to make the effort towards you. They made you feel rejected and they were probably giving elsewhere. They wanted to give, keep their options open here. Interesting. Someone else had these two cards here. And I shuffled. You just wanted um, them to make some kind of effort. Make things balance between you two. Have an equal give and take. But they kept breadcrumbing you. They kept making you feel like... Um, like they put you in the state of feeling rejected of some sort. But I feel like someone here just leveled up. Cut them out or and just leveled up you took a leap of faith forward um and now this person is trying to leap of, take a leap of faith towards you okay give me more on this romance yeah i, I feel like it's them wanting to express some kind of love but not knowing how because they feel like you maybe you block them or you're gonna just block them not even care because you're healing and you're really thinking about yourself here we have the nine of pentacles you're really more focused on your mind body and soul here and you're healing and this person is thinking keeps thinking that maybe you're gonna just block them out but they want to show you some kind of gesture affection love that's what I'm getting. And this is Venus too. Of course. Um, Venus is in Gemini. Um, your seventh house here. So it's really influencing something here. Venus is in retrograde. So they might be coming in. Um, it's in your seventh house. Actually. Sagittarius. Here. So. It's affecting your love life. Okay. So it, it's really up to you. Because I do feel like they're going to make the effort towards you. We have air signs, water signs, um, earth signs. Look at that bottom of the deck. You just want clarity here. Mm hmm Okay, let's see. I'm just going to name some. I do see Virgo. I see Taurus, Libra, fire signs, earth signs. I see Sagittarius. I see air. I see... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, water signs. Yep. That is what I have. I hope that felt like it resonated. Thank you so much. Let's move to the next one. Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. <clears throat> I love Leos. Leo was my... Uh, Leo, my grandma was Leo. She had a very heart of gold. Okay, let's see. Leo. Let's see. Mirroring. Ooh. Strong soulmate connection. Could be a past life connection. A twin flame. Both of you guys are feeling the same thing. Or maybe ex both of you have experienced the same thing. But felt different about it or reacted different about it um yeah something like that or maybe you felt similar <sighs> yeah i feel like you both are marrying each other right now i mean and that's what it really means you know maybe you're you're feeling the same but behaving differently okay like they're probably hiding the way that they're feeling while you're the one showing the way that, that you're feeling. Something like that. Or maybe there's more of um, learning lessons between you two. Because if it is a twin flame, both of you are supposed to be learning something from each other. And leveling up from it. Mm-hmm. And also uh, this always gives me the yin and yang um vibe which is almost the same thing that i just described so it's like both of you feel like you both see something so different within each other 
that's the kind of vibe I get. The chase. Okay. <laughs> yep. Someone's a chaser. Someone's the the runner here. Wedding. The situation involves marriage, so both of you can probably be married, or maybe um, somebody wants commitment, and the other person is, is seriously not. Which that's probably the case, most likely here. Someone here is not ready for something very committed. We have don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Okay, so you need to be true to yourself. Or someone here is not being truthful t to themselves what they really want in this connection. Look at that. We have the real deal. And then we have we wedding. <gasps> Maybe the chaser is going to stop chasing or both of you, the runner is going to stop running, I mean. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. So that's probably why they can't commit right now. Because they're worried about finances. Or maybe you are. There's something here that is causing a wedge. Maybe you even lent them money. Um, and you both are in bad terms. Um, there's something about financial challenges. And when somebody is going through a financial challenge, they don't have, they don't have um, a mind for relationships right now or something real. You know, because they can't provide Mm -hmm. There might have been a lot of petty arguments between each other. They want to come out of that conflict. Give me more on mirroring. I'm just going to clarify some, not all. If this does not resonate, you can check out your uh, moon and ascend it as well. And Venus. Ooh, Leo. You're coming up strong here. Could be dealing with a Gemini as well. Or Cancer. Ooh, could be a Gemini. Okay, so I'm getting that someone is cutting off someone because they're being too immature they're not growing up you're not seeing this person maturing at all so you had to cut them off because you just want to be happy here i feel like you're healing wow there is love here look at what what popped out could be a gemini that you're dealing with mm-hmm Someone here wants to come also to give clarity and heal the situation between you two. Give me more on the chase. We have Sagittarius trying to pop out. Temperance, mending things, reconciling. They're tired of maybe... Someone here is tired of chasing that... Hmm. Chasing, someone's feeling anxiety, stress, anxious, um, because the other person is blocking the other person. The chaser, the runner is blocking the other person, and the other person just wants to reconcile. There's some kind of stress, anxiety over a reconciliation. Um, somebody keeps running from this love. I also get that you block them. You just want to be happy now. You want to heal. You block them. You cut them out. Even though there's real love there. There's a twin flame connection. Could be. And if you did block them out. This person wants to chase. And they're stressed because you blocked them out. And they want to reconcile. They want to mend things here. Give me more on this wedding and the real deal. Yep. Someone here is very disappointed. Ooh. 
I just saw a light flash. Yeah, there was a tower moment here. Disappointment. Somebody took back their... their um, look at that. We have 9 and 10 of pentacles. Took back their power. Is focused on themselves. I feel like it's you. You're trying to heal. Focus on your mind, body, and soul. And you're focused on more of the stability, the security. Um, you are the, the giver. The one that was more stable in this connection. Mm-hmm. And this person feels bad because maybe they can't really measure up or they can't offer you what you can bring to the table. That's what I'm feeling here. Give me more on this finance. What's going on with this finance struggles, challenges, and this connection? Yep. Someone is trying to manifest a new beginning here. They've been healing. They've been trying to manage and budget. But they're having trouble because they've made a lot of foolish uh, mistakes with their finances. They've spent money on things that they really didn't need. They were not careful with their finances. Now they're trying to reevaluate with how they're spending their money because it is causing some kind of stress um i feel like this person yeah is trying to hold it all together mm -hmm. yep give me more on this um finances they're trying to balance their like i feel like it's like a checkbook or their budget here and they're trying not to stress about it. They're reevaluating things. Yeah, they're trying to to really think more uh, more carefully and use more of a um, responsibility here, more mature way of spending. This could be you as well. While healing, you're also trying to um, be focused more on your finances and get more secure more stability this could be you trying to manifest a new beginning with for you while you're healing focused on your finances and self-love that's for most of you for others of you if you don't have finances troubles it's them and they're trying to focus more on them on that and trying to manifest more maybe they were being foolish um, not knowing how to foolish with their their money and they weren't really giving you anything you know or maybe you were giving them a lot something like that okay i have virgo gemini could be aries pisces air signs scorpio actually um water signs earth sagittarius scorpio again virgo fire signs okay that is what i have i hope that felt like it resonated thank you so much if this doesn't resonate you can look up your venus um moon and ascend it let's see Okay, Aries. Let's see, Aries. Let's. What do we have for Aries? Ooh, we have codependency. Okay, so codependency can bring a lot of. Huh. It could bring a lot of unhappiness could be resentment anger towards the other person that's causing stagnancy or maybe there's just codependency issues somebody feeling stuck in something it could also be someone relying on the other for emotional support and not having it so it just keeps you there um attachments unhealthy attachments unhealthy addictions it could be obsession or just like it could be even one-sided relationships that's why 
that's what really is a, an attachment, unhealthy attachment. Um, somebody needing the other person for emotional support of some sort. Uh, let's see. Yeah, stuck, mainly. Let's see what we have. Soul tie. Oh, there's a soul tie. There's a contract between you two. There could be there's there could be spells, candles here. That's keeping the other person stuck on you or vice versa. That's only for maybe one person here, okay? Um not for everybody, but there is a soul tie here. It's it's unhealthy. Both of you need to learn something from this. Um, maybe there is also a soul contract between you two. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive. So somebody here is not opening their heart or is not feeling um, is not feeling secure in this relationship, which is causing a little someone else feeling stuck passion a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present enjoy it so there's a lot of passion between you two a lot of chemistry so that's probably why there's a soul tie there because both of you are still connected energetically connected love cords look at that wow soul tie love cords codependency so there's something here that both of you feel very strong okay so much that it's causing like someone's just stuck on this person or someone's just not trusting this not trusting that this person does want something real soulmate oh my god aries beautiful your soulmate loves accepts and respects you unconditionally beautiful mm. let's see what we have here Okay, let's see. What is this codependency? I'm only clarifying some. Not all. Yeah, somebody was not giving enough to the situation. They were always in limbo. That's what's coming to me. Somebody not knowing what to do. They're stuck not knowing if they should still try to work it out with someone that's just been kind of... Um, keeping to themselves not wanting to give so much of themselves not wanting to give so much time of themselves or something like that um, because they're scared to love here they're scared of their own feelings they're also attached to you so you don't know if you should stay or go i i feel like that's what it is somebody not giving enough time we're not giving enough to this connection. Someone's just feeling stuck here. Definitely not knowing what to do. Someone could be also too much into work and not giving enough time. Or not wanting to open up to love. What is this? All this soul ties spirit soul ties and love cords give me more on this okay so it is a soul contract between you two we have the justice card there's something to learn here about love and someone's still blocking this love blocking this love maybe you're gonna end up for some of you you're wanting to block them already and just go your separate ways and that is when they they're gonna want to come back towards you and you're just gonna block them off that's for some of you for those of you they're just blocking love mm-hmm give me more of this it is safe for you to love yeah somebody here is being selfish with their love we have nine of cups 
maybe they like to be out and about with their friends um, somebody cut someone off here block them off and you're still stuck with them um, because there's a lot of passion between you two and you're trying to focus on you but this person wants to come back and change things reconnect because they've seen this in you and they want you to feel safe to open up with them and you're not gonna know you're not you're not gonna know what to do when they do come towards you but both of you are stuck in this this is mutual there's a soulmate contract between you two that both of you have not fulfilled Mhm. Mm so they're gonna come back Mhm. Mm yep because they miss your attention they want victory over you yep that's what i have bottom of the deck we have the ten of cups so this they want to be happy with you again they want to take off that mask that they had they weren't really opening up to this love before but i feel like this person does see you that maybe you're doing you you're going out you're focused on your yourself your mind body and soul here and they're seeing this from you mm-hmm I feel like both of you though are stuck with each other if you don't feel like you're as stuck as they are if you have been focused on you only and getting attention elsewhere they're feeling that and they're feeling the pressure to come back and work things out with you and they feel like they're going like you're going to block them out that's what I also have here so just take what resonates I do see water fire Libra Virgo could be just um, earth signs fire water Scorpio and a lot of earth okay you could be focused on work as well okay on your own money but you're still feeling that attachment okay i hope that resonated if it didn't you can go ahead and just check out your venus uh, moon and ascendant thank you so much for watching subscribe if you if you haven't i'm always changing the things around so hope you like that okay i will move forward with the other signs okay now it's earth and air signs okay so i'm doing this in two parts because i wanted to use the same cards and don't want to miss any messages here so let's get started we'll start with capricorn let's see And I had time this time. That's why I'm doing it this way. Okay. I forgot to mention. You can. If this doesn't resonate. You can 
also look up your moon or sun sign it's not a cross watching video so um, I do those every two weeks um, so moon sun sign ascended or Venus because it is a Venus reading okay let's get started here Capricorn we have communication Ooh, I love this communication is could come in different forms it could be telepathic messages could be um, communication through dreams symbols feelings whatever um, you get them it could be communication through your spirit guides here because it is the number 33 um, an angel number so communication is key maybe something needs to be cleared out here maybe somebody wants to communicate clear things out bring clarity to a situation hmm let's see it could be like important discussions someone reaching out um, or maybe trying to call you in to telepathically who knows Ooh, separation of course no wonder so somebody here is yearning for the other person but someone's blocking this out someone is trying to heal interesting somebody wants an opportunity here they want you to open up somebody's or maybe you want them to open up communication with you if something like that we have romance cupid's arrow strikes interesting somebody else got this Maybe somebody wants you to open up so they can make the effort or something like that. Or maybe it's vice versa. Okay, there's still some some spark there between you and someone else that you're in separation for. But somebody is yearning for this. I feel like maybe it's you yearning for them and they're blocked. Um, they're blocked um, energetically wise lip service somebody does want to bring romance to you there is romantic feelings they want to make out with you they want to again with the lip service it, it could also mean indicate communication as well that's what I'm getting abundance you've done the work abundance flows to you now I don't know why my neighbor's dog is barking. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. So there's something coming towards you. Maybe both of you have been healing from this. I feel. I still feel like someone here is blocked though. Energetically. Um, but maybe somebody's been doing the work. The healing work. Or maybe um, just working on themselves here. We have clear communication. Look at that. I love it interesting out of all those cards I have a hundred of those cards in one in this deck so out of all those cards that came out oops one of my oils fell okay sorry about that okay so Okay, sorry about that again. I just wanted to make sure that my my oil didn't spill or anything. Anyways, <laughs> I make my own oils. <laughs> so, okay, let's keep going here. So, there is some clear communication coming in. Let's clarify some, not all, because some of them are pretty self-explanatory. Both of you are in separation. One is yearning for the other. One is yearning for the other to communicate as well. I feel like both of you are healing. Give me more on, sep I mean, communication. It, communication is really coming strong in this reading. Somebody is trying to 
is trying to figure out if they should stay or if they should go because you invested a lot of time it could be you investing a lot of time into this so you want communication you want something to come through someone here is stuck in their head in their thoughts i could be you not knowing what to do you're kind of lost you don't know what to do anymore if you should still stick around and wait for communication i feel like there is communication coming through there's something that there's is still not being made clear to you so you just want clear communication from this person you still feel their energy i feel i feel like both of you still feel your their energy okay give me more on this lip service spirit they want to manifest this yep they're gonna message somebody here was too stubborn didn't want to open up a little stubborn hard-headed set in their ways um, they will be communicating they they are serious about this connection but I feel like they're still set in their own ways they want to clear they want to open up communication between you two but they're also in their head i feel like they're going back and forth about maybe t um making that first move because this person does not want to really how do i say they don't want to really express too much it's like they're trying to hide they're trying to portray something that is not here they're trying to manipulate the situation maybe as well by not giving too much mm -hmm. but this person does want to communicate i feel why is the emperor here yeah you might have stopped yeah look they do want to clear something up here they are finally seeing things differently here if I feel like they are ready for something a little bit more um, committed, a little bit more serious, and they do want. They have been yearning for you, and they're gonna come at you. Um, I feel like they're a little determined to come towards you because they're thinking differently. They might be working on their pentacles, on their money, and they're actually trying to start new here with you and give you some kind of clarity could be a Taurus or a Li um, Libra that's weird there could have been some harsh words that were said between you two that still need both of you guys still need some um, clarity on and someone took back their power but that's because I feel like maybe you took back your power and you had no choice to give me more on this abundance maybe they they are feeling a little bit more stable and now they want to then now they're seeing how much energy and time you've you've um, spent on them and now they want to come at you correctly yep see they're seeing a, they're looking at their finances they're looking to see how they can come towards you and offer you some time and energy like they do want to spend energy but they're trying to figure out how <laughs> i always get that vibe see they want to reconnect with you they want to have time with you spend time with you go out the problem here is that nobody was while this person was probably not opening up to you they weren't giving you much they were just giving you enough for you to stay there and you kind of got tired and you pulled back your energy wow, i've had a lot of that energy here somebody a lot of people have been pulling back their energy so i have a lot yeah that is what i have i'm just gonna name some big energies here I did say it could be Taurus, Libra, Aries, um, Virgo, Gemini, water signs, earth signs, air signs, fire sign. No, not fire signs. Just Aries. Interesting. Not a lot of fire here. 
it's like somebody is a little bit um could have been a little disconnected from this too thinking more about a financial finance finances financial here it's what i have interesting no fire maybe somebody lost a spark as well that's probably just for one person okay so if this doesn't resonate um try to look up your moon ascended or um venus because it is a venus reading so i hope that resonated though thank you so much let's move forward to virgo okay virgo okay virgo let's see what we have here unfinished business Ooh. okay so i have unfinished business this always gives me a vibe of somebody making an apology uh coming towards another person making things right or maybe the universe is doing uh making things right for you i also get of course unfinished business it's not over yet something's not over this relationship the situation is not over there's just something within you that's saying that it's not over or maybe it's the other person maybe here somebody wants to also heal a situation Mm -hmm. make things right with you or vice versa but something's just not completed it's not completed let's see what else we have finance and careers financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so maybe somebody is working towards their also their stability their security focused on finances career sexual union honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss somebody wants to, somebody i feel like this is you, venus energy somebody does want to come and maybe um spend some time with you intimacy have intimacy with you here Ooh, casanova swept off your feet they want to sweep you off your feet they really feel like there's unfinished business between you two mm -hmm. they want to come and sweep you off your feet but you're probably too focused on of course virgos focused on finances and career self-care you're taking care of yourself clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting so i feel like you i feel like you took care of your you took you took your power back from this person you started um, doing some self-care really focused on you your mind mind body and soul we have interference maybe there was some interference before or maybe work is a is an interference here finances career is an in interference um but this person wants to like recapture or, or they feel like this is not done yet or maybe you guys already connected in an intimacy level but someone is just too focused on work i think the interference is work it's not someone because there is a very strong connection here we have the sexual union so mm -hmm. something is unfinished let's clarify some not all give me more on oh see told you soulmate here re uh, thinking things through thinking about the past it could be a past life connection that both of you need to finish or past life um or a lesson a karmic contract between you two maybe give me more on unfinished unfinished business there could have been yeah a lot of influences outside influences it really kept someone else out um in the cold causing anxiety stress there was a lot of um 
could be inner conflict or just conflict between you two that's why somebody wants to come back and make things right outside influences as well which could be career still maybe somebody focused on too too much on their own stability their own security give me more on interference Oh, look at that. <laughs> it came out. Okay, so we have Four of Pentacles. Somebody is not giving enough time, energy into this. So it left the other person very disappointed. They wanted, somebody here wants to just take a leap of faith forward. They want a second chance. They have been thinking about the past a lot. But someone here was blocked before not giving enough to the situation which caused a lot of disappointment could be in you so you started taking a leap of faith forward without them just risking it and focused more on work maybe yeah i don't sense anybody new here they were just blocked not giving enough to the situation so maybe that's why they want to come back and make things right. Because maybe there was just outside influences or petty arguments between you two. Okay, give me more. And maybe you took back your power, like I said. You're focused more on you. Give me more on swept off your feet. Yeah, they're seeing things differently now. If you took back your power here you started focusing on you they want communication yep somebody is really taking care of themselves here really going within intuitively i feel like you know this person's going to be back and wants to communicate with you this person was a little immature could be emotionally immature um so now you all you care about and they weren't even um offering stability or security but they do want to talk they're just taking forever to really commit to something more serious ever since you did take your um, power back started focusing on you loving yourself this person wants to communicate they have been thinking a lot about you let's see yep they want to make things right i'm telling you justice card want to make things right they want to apologize bottom of their deck this person probably pushed you out forced you to walk away because i don't feel like you wanted to there was maybe even harsh words petty arguments like i said arguments yep um somebody wanted the upper hand somebody wanted um manipulate the situation here yep but that is what I'm getting. I do see Libra. I see Sag. I see fire signs. Could be Pisces, Aries, water signs, earth, fire, water, more earth, Taurus. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I don't see a lot of air. Interesting. Okay. So that is what I have. If this doesn't resonate, be sure to check out your sun, moon, ascended, or Venus. Thank you so much for watching. Let's move forward. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe already. Let me know if, if you like these videos. Okay, Taurus. Let's see what we have for Taurus. Okay. Wild card. And it's the number five. There could be some changes. Taurus is the month of May. So that is probably your energy here that I'm reading. The wild card. So the wild card could bring the sense of anything is possible. Okay. Something unpredictable um i also get playing your cards right if you if you play your cards right anything can happen 
um, it could be a lot of uh, a lot of possibilities here at hand a lot of um, it could be a surprise something st still up in the air something unexpected coming out or something unexpected happening um, you just don't know you know with the game of uno one minute you could be winning and another you could have all the cards you know what I mean like it's it's the game uno here okay you deserve love so I feel like someone here is focused on you it could be a Sagittarius um, or you just have to know and feel that you deserve love maybe this person didn't make you feel that way maybe they made you feel some kind of way um, where you just thought you didn't really deserve their love but it was only their love it's not you deserve love here okay but it has to come from you first that way you don't care if anybody else gives you love or not you just have to believe in yourself we have friendship nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve so maybe there needs to be a friendship within this connection maybe someone forgot that there has to be a friendship in order to have a good relationship here okay in the spotlight attention wow taurus of course venus is in retrograde that is your you know your planet of love maybe you're taking attention away here maybe they they have your i feel like someone is focused a lot on you right here um you know they're all focused and now we have attention so you're taking somebody's attention it could even be a friend that is really looking at you in some kind of way or maybe they are thinking about how um they want to nurture this and really have that friendship within this relationship between you and them, you and your person. So anything can happen. Look at that. We have patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. I like it. Taurus. We have final straw. Oof. Okay. Interesting. So somebody had the final straw somebody actually i feel like somebody just they're done it could be you you're done you're done it was the final straw or this person if they come again and they mess up it'll be the final straw it'll be the fi finality of things that's it you're done or something like that there's that kind of energy interesting because it was going so good <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's clarify some, not all. Let's see, what is this wild card? So somebody here wants to apologize. They're still thinking about it though. They want to apologize for not giving enough to the situation, to this connection. Maybe they put you in a state where, you know, you were the one always giving. Now they're ready to give to you. Yeah. They want to come at you correctly. They see you as very loving, um, very attractive. Maybe they were being too stubborn, too set in their ways. And now they want to come in. Maybe there was some pride, some ego that was interfering here. Give me more on yeah give me more on um attention spirit guides yeah they want to make things balance between you two this person was not giving you enough that w to the point where it was making you feel rejected now they want to come and give you attention they want to make things right look at that two aces they're going to be determined like i said i think they I think I said that with the emperor, didn't I? Maybe it came to me. I just missed it. Um, but there's, they're going to be determined to start something new with you. But we still have the final straw. Somebody actually finally just said they've had it. 
like you want something new now and because you feel like you deserve it give me more on the final straw look at that once what wants to pop out another ace maybe you're finishing a cycle here and you're just wanting to start new somewhere else you want newness there is newness in front of you there's aces new cycles in abundance in growth in passion new projects new clarity i feel like you just want to move forward if this was the final straw they weren't giving you enough they were only giving you breadcrumbs they weren't making things right for you because they were too stubborn and i feel like this person for some of you they still feel like you'll still come back to them give me more on this final straw i think i was clarifying that and we got the three aces final straw it kept somebody stuck probably even um compromising too much now they're trying to see things differently on how much they didn't offer to you how much you took back your power now they're seeing that you maybe you took back your power away from them and they probably are thinking that this was the last straw that they lost their chance give me more on this patience have patience if you're stressing okay not everything is what it seems you're gonna have a lot of new opportunities here a lot of desires um opportunities choices for you um doors are opening up for you not everything's how it what it seems okay you're probably just looking at the surface of things have some patience patience with yourself heal from the situation believe in yourself did i clarify attention i think i did but this person is now has uh, their attention on you give me more on attention spirit guides i cannot even remember sorry yep this person wants your attention they're gonna communicate expect something good to come out of it this person is thinking that maybe you're the one that's gonna communicate but when they soon realize that you are you know maybe taking care of yourself you pulled your energy back you're starting new somewhere else this person's gonna want to communicate with you they're still thinking optimistic about this connection okay bottom of the deck is the problem here is that you took back your power you took back your love you took back your energy and you're focused on you and they want to clear the situation up with you okay so that's gonna be probably a, uh and you probably can feel this that they're still gonna come towards you intuitively yep i did see um water i see fire i see earth i see cancer pisces air i see all signs it doesn't even matter pisces again aries could be taurus scorpio yeah that is what i have for this so i hope that resonated there was a lot of messages there so just take what resonates if it doesn't go ahead and look up your moon ascended or venus or for extra messages as well okay so let's see i'm getting a lot of people taking their power back which is interesting okay Sorry, I needed to drink water. I've been, oops. Oh, why am I so clumsy? Okay, sorry about that. Okay, Aquarius. Let's see what we have for Aquarius. <clears throat> I've been talking a lot, sorry. So Aquarius. <laughs> we have, let's see. Ooh, love. I love this love with the green here it it also brings a message of the heart chakra maybe we're healing we have a crystal there maybe we're healing 
our heart chakra, trying to focus on ourselves, um, it kind of focused on our own pleasures, our, our, um, yeah, just our own healing. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're feeling loved or you want to express your love because we have the throat here, which is also represents communication. Maybe you want to express love to someone. Um, there's also, what else do I see? With the neck here, it could represent the throat chakra. It could also bring the message of maybe giving some truth, expressing love. I think I said that, sorry. Um, been talking a lot. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here? Mm hmm feelings of just love compassion empathy that's what I'm getting here we have keep an open mind maybe you met someone your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations or maybe somebody has their eye on you maybe this soulmate of course is different than you than you sacred union honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred so somebody still has their eye on you they feel love for you this could be them because they want to honor and treasure this relationship this union Ooh, somebody is realizing their love for you and they want to express love for you Mm hmm somebody has their eye on you here they want to really nurture this relationship retreat time alone or in nature will help you recharge so maybe you're trying to heal from a situation maybe you even met someone and realized that maybe this is this could be the one or maybe you're feeling giddy or there's some kind of realization epiphany here someone is having i'm getting two storylines okay so try to keep up because they're just coming out of me <laughs> i i try not to confuse you um okay so i feel like maybe you met someone that's for some of you or maybe both someone here has an eye on you they want to express their love they had an epiphany of some sort and they want to make this union more of a special thing a very special thing because maybe you spend some time alone you're trying to heal we have unsaid words yep this person has things that there's still unfinished business things that were not said between you two and they've they're realizing this you probably retreated from them you disconnected from them to recharge you needed time alone you needed time to heal and this person is probably realizing how special you are and they have their eye on you mm -hmm. this person i'm getting also um this person realized that the grass wasn't greener on the other side i don't know why i'm getting that give me more on love card we're gonna clarify some not all Yep, you took back your power. You started focusing on yourself. This is Venus as well. Venus is doing something here. This is Venus card two. Something is being influenced here. Venus is influencing this. There's a new beginning here. There could be a, a victory as well. In love. Mm -hmm. somebody's focused on themselves here give me more on this keep an open mind somebody wants you to keep an open mind to see how you both can resolve something when they come towards you with an apology or wanting to express some kind of love affection they want you to keep an open mind don't be so bitter or anything like that they don't want this from you or a little outspoken see they're having inner conflict because you don't they don't know if you're going to be open to this to clearing out the air because they've had a realization maybe an epiphany here i'm feeling give me more on this um realization 
or maybe there was a lot of conflict between you two that you needed to to just leave the conflict see realization we have communication they want to come in hot and heavy so they really feel this chemistry passion between you could be a sagittarius but there's chemistry there's passion here and they want to come towards you that's why we have sacred union what are these unsaid words unsaid words cause someone anxiety feeling out in the cold unsaid words they're trying to really um analyze what was said and what wasn't said they feel stuck like things are not done yet mm -hmm. maybe this person was inconsistent they want to clear the air with you they want to move towards a more grounded stable um situation with you they want to heal the situation they want to be happy they see you that you're in you're living your life you're really focused on you bottom of the deck the problem here is how do they clear the air with you six of swords mm -hmm. it's like they really did have an epiphany and they they're still holding on we have scorpio the tower underneath that so we have Leo, Cancer, Pisces, could be Taurus. Um, but I feel like this person wants to come and communicate because they don't feel like it's over. They just want to clear the air. If there was conflict between you two, they they see they want to bring you clarity because they have some they had some kind of an epiphany here. I keep getting epiphany with the realization here. Yep. So. Uh, there's earth here there's air there's leo there's taurus libra sagittarius fire signs air signs yep that's what i have i did say scorpio 2 cancer i hope that resonated if you haven't subscribed and you like these let me know uh, or subscribe Let's move forward. Okay, Gemini. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. Been talking a lot. Okay, Gemini, let's see what we have for you. Ooh, surrender. Somebody had this in the l in the first part. Okay, Gemini, somebody wants to surrender here, call truce, maybe, um, letting go of control, um, yeah, letting go of control, letting the um, universe take over, allowing things to just happen naturally, um, maybe releasing, um, resistance, or somebody is just burdened with their emotions here, or overwhelmed with their emotions the white flag here is a universal sign of surrender maybe also somebody trying to um, just let go of something that they can't control anymore or they try to control but it's just no you can't really control it here we have wedding this probably um, involves marriage but I feel more that somebody here wanted um, commitment and the other person didn't so you were trying to control a situation or maybe your person did time you are trying too hard give it time yep somebody here was trying too hard and not letting things um, just go with the flow mm-hmm so you're just surrendering you're letting go of control letting the universe just take over it's out of your hands really cloud nine you really wanted this to happen because there was a lot of um it was uh, uh, happiness something you haven't felt in a long time you felt it on cloud nine you felt like you were walking on clouds when you were with this person or it could be vice versa or maybe they're involved with someone else too okay and they can't leave it but once you met them both of you couldn't resist 
I don't know why I'm getting third party here. But if you don't know about them being in a marriage, then you're okay. That's not your story. If it isn't your story, then it's like you just you met them and you felt like they were the one. And you're trying to you were trying to control the situation, but it's time to surrender and let things go for now stability this relationship can stand the test of time see we have two time cards here okay it's a test right now it's a test of time it's gonna come but you just have to have patience here we have numb cold so somebody feels numb like they're they emotionally blocked okay this could be them Mm -hmm. or m them emotionally blocked and you're trying to m or maybe there was a marriage involved and it was unstable and too much hurt caused someone to go cold or maybe somebody was just too cold to the other person or this could be you too cold numb you're tired of it already you're surrendering to this um fantasy of being in a marriage with someone that is not showing you anything anything committed okay let's see okay give me more on this surrender for gemini and their person spirit guides okay not everything's what it seems mm. i feel like you kind of lost yourself with this person because this person didn't really give you much and you did want something more stable more committed more now you're probably just focused on yourself you were very disappointed because things were just not coming the way that you wanted it you really wanted this to work out but you kind of lost yourself in the process because this person would only give you a little bit of time a little bit of energy and finally you just decided to let go because you were losing yourself you know you're a social butterfly you're not that kind of person give me more on Ooh, Venus wants to come out. Venus is in Gemini. So maybe Venus is helping you to back away and surrender. Okay. Let's see. Wow. Okay, so Eight of Wands wants to come out. Communication. Give me more on this. Um, see, you are ready for something stable, secure. You're ready. You're the wifey material already. Um, yeah, give me more on this wedding card. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. Or a Cancer. Yeah, I feel like you want to work towards something here. You want to heal a situation. Um, there could have been a third party, like I said, but I don't feel this. I feel like somebody wants to work on their stability. Like they are ready for something good. I feel like it's you. You're ready for something more stable, more committed. yeah the past wants to come back and you're probably blocked emotionally blocked because you're you're tired of working on this and you want to just be happy and the past wants to come back but i feel like it's you that's numb and that's tired of it you took your power back and started focusing on yourself here and you backed away for others of you there the, the past is just blocked from you and it's for you to become the empress that you are to heal your situation or maybe work on yourself here work on your healing give me more on this cloud nine
cloud nine okay so maybe you really fantasized about this relationship and it it was a little too toxic maybe there was some kind of um, attachment unhealthy attachment between you two that needs to be healed something within you needs to be healed if you felt that way or maybe they were just toxic themselves and you were more of their star their healing you were more of the opposite from this person or they could just be a capricorn or scorpio look at that three major arcanas here some somebody is not letting go of this it could be your person that is feeling attached to you while you want to let go and heal there was something that needed to just crumble down because it was just not good here somebody just really romanticized this or fantasized this that the universe needed to interfere and cause someone to really heal themselves because it was too toxic here another major arcana it kept things stuck so that's why the the universe interfered I feel the universe interfered and it caused you to just surrender and let go of things. But I feel like this person is not letting go of you. There's new there's new beginnings in front of you. You're wanting to move forward and look for your own stability, your own security here. You're really taking a, a leap of faith forward because I feel like what you were stuck on, it was very unhealthy. It kept you stuck here. It really hurt you and it didn't leave you any choice but to leave and really heal yourself because it was causing so much pain that it made you numb. Like you didn't even know what to feel anymore. Like you were just, yeah, that's what I'm feeling here. And this, the past is going to want to come back here in time because they're still going to be holding on to you. Mm -hmm. This person wasn't, the problem here is that they weren't offering something stable and secure to you the way that you wanted it, something more committed. Or if there was marriage already, something committed here, this person just didn't want, they were just focused on themselves. Mm hmm that is what I have here Gemini um, I do see Aquarius Leo cancer um, could be earth Scorpio air Taurus Libra Pisces cancer Scorpio again Capricorn cancer again Aries or Pisces or another Gemini and water fire air all signs here I just named a few big ones, okay? That was a lot of cards. Oops. Let me make sure I shuffle these re really good. I hope that resonated. If it didn't, check out your moon, ascendant, or Venus. Uh, I want to mix this up. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Libra. Okay, Libra. Let's do this. <coughs> Sorry, it's my throat. I've been talking a lot. <laughs> Sorry, I need to drink some water real quick. Alrighty. Okay, Libra. So somebody here is guarded. Or they put some boundaries here. Okay, they establish some boundaries. It could be you putting boundaries here. Done with people um, trying to step all over you. Or trying to, you know, not respecting your boundaries. Or maybe you're allowing them to do things and you've you finally just put a stop to it you drew a line worth waiting for i feel like you're healing and you're really letting go 
And you're waiting for the right one here. You're guarded though. Mm-hmm. So you're being more um, clear about your expectations while you wait for the right one. Interesting power. You instinct instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time see i feel like you're you took back your power here you set some healthy boundaries and you're prepared to actually you know how look at how they're covered they're really blocking you're not gonna let nobody else in unless they are worth your time i feel here trials of love lessons you went through a lot of trials of love you've learned a lot from the past and i feel like you're ready to move forward here and you're just healing obstacles unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement so maybe you're still healing and you're waiting you're taking your time here okay, and then we have an apology so somebody here wants to apologize and you're kind of blocking this person energetically because you're done. You pu you put a boundary there and you took your power back. You're keeping your distance. You're creating space between you and this person. You're separating yourself from any toxic energy or anybody that doesn't... Um, bring any good to your space you know you really are taking care of yourself you really took power took took away your took your power back love it i love it i love it i love it i love seeing cards like this okay give me more on boundaries this might not resonate with everybody so if it doesn't um feel free to check out your um venus ascended moon Sun. Sorry, I don't say that often. <laughs> Sun, Moon, Ascended, and Venus. So somebody here is healing. They, I feel like it's you. See, toxic energy. The devil, Capricorn, or Sagittarius. They could be a cusp. But I feel like this person is lost without you ever since you took your power back. You're trying to be patient and wait for something good to come into your life you're really taking care of yourself your energy you're trying to balance your energy this person feels lost without you they feel the detachment from you wow things have turned around i feel like this is a more of a tables turning they want to say uh, they want to apologize for whatever they've caused you any pain they caused you but I feel like they're the ones that are feeling very disappointed in themselves. They're feeling heartbroken. They're feeling lost without you. If you took your power back, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Interesting. This You're the only one that got the three of, three of swords. And I'm done with all signs here. You're the only one that got the three of swords here. Interesting give me worth waiting for more on worth waiting for i'm only going to clarify some not all wow so yeah you want the real deal here you are striving to move forward in victory looking out for yourself your own stability your own security you're and you're gonna wait for the right one the one that shows you love wow i love it give me more on these obstacles and lessons spirit guides you went through a lot with this person and that's why you're putting up your boundary look at that lessons and then we have the seven of swords somebody was not being truthful to you they might have kept words from you even hidden feelings could be because that's what i'm saying and they sabotage this relationship this connection they didn't know how to express their feelings they didn't know how to show their feelings mm. the ball was always on their court and they didn't take advantage of it so you just took your power back you were done with it mm -hmm. there was a lot of obstacles that they also created themselves for not being so truthful to you 
and that's probably why they want to apologize maybe for some of you they were sneaking off they're having anxiety there was a lot of pain here that they caused um, for some of them of course you were giving them your awe you were there you always there for them in loving ways supporting them encouraging them and they just were taking you for granted they were taking you for granted they were stealing your time your love affection your energy and it caused a lot of pain Mm -hmm. and you learned a very harsh lesson with them mm -hmm. so now you're taking time to really heal I feel like this obstacle is more of like a, the challenges of healing okay even if you wanted to give this person another chance if they do want to come and apologize if the the obstacle is healing even they need healing they need to heal themselves from something that's blocking them from moving forward with you that's why there's two people here two people need to heal need to need to take the time to heal give me more an apology Yeah, this person wants to come to you, correct? They are strategizing, they are calculating on how to come towards this. They're actually even um, looking at things differently because they were probably too stubborn to notice, to realize that they did have feelings for you. Give me more on this Two of Wands. They're strategizing on how to come and, you know, make things right. Yep. They want to manifest something here between you two and they want to make things right with you. Give you um, attention, love, um, spend time with you, make things equal between you two. Yep, bottom of the deck. It was a very, very um, strong soulmate connection. But what this card always brings to me is a message of somebody being too selfish with their love. Mm-hmm. Somebody was not giving enough um, enough love. And with the two doves here, it also signifies that there's this love came. Both of you came to each other's life to learn something, to grow from it, to change. You both changed each other's lives here. Mm -hmm. It was a very significant soulmate connection where both of you had to learn something from it. That's why we had this, the trials of love, the lessons. Both of you came together to evolve. But again, like I said, somebody here was too selfish with their love. Mm -hmm. I do see Aries, Taurus, Air, Fire, Earth, Virgo, Gemini, Sagittarius. Pisces, water, Sag um, Sagittarius, strong Sagittarius, Cancer, Capricorn, a lot of major arcanas. So there was nothing that you could do to change anything. It was all the universe conspiring for you to learn how to take your power back here. Yep, strong, strong message, Libra. I hope that resonated. If it didn't, you can go ahead and check out your sun moon ascended and venus because it is a venus reading thank you so much let me know how these readings um helped you if you liked them i'll try to do them often thank you so much again and take care bye